like uh, enough damage Radiant for team heal pick. burst damage. It's like Chrono. Obviously, him being a melee hero, he can't do much other than fit. Talent Midas. <laughs> yeah. He went super greed mode in that game. Big flash down at the bottom spot, the though, as the cast begins. flies out onto Iceberg, but the damage isn't there. There's not the clap, and Zeus is dropping low. Shioma gonna be the second to fall. As it's a one for one so far, but look at this howl damage. The Lycan throws the extra DPS. The way of the Oracle. County rune. Actually that picked was... that one up. So this might be the wraparound they were looking for. Solo has already oh, thrown his cask out, and Solo the Slayer just walks up into death. Ten creeps. A ton of nukes take him down, and Solo, he's gonna be able to retreat himself away. There's no lightning bolts unless he turns around. He's gone back to try to fight. Oh, oh, oh. sure what that movement was. Little Ventral Spirit TPing in. Whereas Boots over on this Ventral Spirit as Dying they've spotted Black Chen. And with that cast bouncing back, a good gust, Goblack's gonna die here. No. Aggressive play by the Chen, trying to push a little bit further forward than really anyone else was expecting. It would have been super unusual back in the old days when it was always 404. Now we're seeing more like 3041. Oh, no one zapped, but he's still being healed up. Look at the heal! Where's all this health come from? Oh my goodness, the ultimate ends of the little sisters come back to the Death Prophet and Team Spirit overextend. The Void can time walk away, and with a Fairy Fire salve, it should be fine. 1 2 1, pretty standard, nothing. Alright, that's the there. Just gonna slam into that tier 1. These Chen Creeps, they, stop, stop. they could go for tier 2 here if they wanted to, and that's why the TP reactions are coming through from Vega. Yoma is ready, mid lane though, no one is chrono towards the mid. He's trying to turn back onto Iceberg, but a zappy man! The Thunder God's Wrath finishes him off, and Lycan wants to hit that ship ship for. Nothing else is going to be keep the Lycan out of these teamfights, but the wraparound is here. On to always want to fly. You can barely even get a spell down. They've got a gust, but they don't have anything to cancel the TP. Good move there by Ramsey's here and Cyclones up with Zeus. Zoma the Slayer is waving back onto the Roshan. It looks like Rosh is dead. Ages can pick past the Chrono on Solo Drow. This is going to get a couple of them as well. Swap back the TP. Set back to safety and the heal comes in from Lord Ghost as well. But the Drow Ranger is trapped in a pit. Pasha has to run, has to hide. But look at the damage out, but the Gust will send them back. But I think the Big Bad Wolf is just going to chase her down and slice her to pieces. Vega Squadron, they are being shut down at. Tower. Doesn't look like they've got a bloody clue, mate. They're Radiant's all stood around that tower, tower and it's Mags attack. is going to get caught in the back. They get the courier. Lycan clears it up and now it's bail time. Scram. Yeah, he's over in the back. Stunned up Ramsey. Needs to get himself onto the target. But he's spirit. They're having a little bit of a difficulty here as Iceberg has been thrown down and separated from the rest of his team. The oh. Zeus is dead. So is Mag. They'll clear him up unless they miss. And it's again. And Afterlife can't kill him. The Wolves finally get in there with the death of the final splitting Brewmaster. But no one's ulti is about to when five seconds left until he heals himself back up, but they've turned it. They've turned the fight. No one's going to heal to full. Vega, they lose their Drow and their Brewmaster. That's a fight that went decently. Really hard to fight into this mech, and God, this is early in the game. Creeps as well. Like Centaur, Ogre, Dark Troll, Satyr, Oh, Bollocks. Avoid, you'll avoid as Chrono, fair and three. Of gold. You're right, Afterlife. Got him! Another one. Looks like he's got the damage to kill him as well. Thunder God's Wrath will give the extra vision they need over Solo. They're taking a the streak away from the DP and Solo. Try all your might. Damage output of this Lycan. We'll be able to rejoin this fight, but Roshan has already dropped. Or at least no one takes the top tier two. The team for it with this Aegis. Boxes that team fight capability so much. Yeah. It wasn't like he wasn't having a bad game, but it wasn't. Uh, early on, he was winning against. Oh, look at that mind, gorgeous but... Chrono, but the swap superb as well. Big pass the back. Two supports at the very least. Our Ranger. Try and escape. In fact, this cast is forcing Ramsey to pop his BKB to dive in on this, but no buyback for Vega. Luckily though, the creep wave is up and he actually poses himself a way out of it. This little oracle pretty screwed as he's gonna pop. That supernova will take him out. He's gonna Zeus, cyclone up. Look at this kill, he's got the Aegis for the death ward down. Iceberg's gonna lose one life here unless he forces out down. 
but below the cliff line and now tries to take down Mag. The damage is good, but it's not quite good enough. Where's the rest of Team Spirit? They're over to the side on the east looking for the big gin, but Iceberg shredded. The damage output too big and Ramsey, your BKB is good, but is it good enough? No one is critted down and Apolite looking for the Sioma Slayer, Vengeful Spirit now. Team Spirit will take out two. Getting a decent fight for Vegas so far, if they can just catch control against the Lycan. You're right, and the hardcore push is coming in once again. The blink chrono, they've caught no one, there's no ulti, there's a good swap from Shim with the Slayer, dragging the one back. They're taking down support again, but Ben does have a buyback. Start their way up into the high ground, but just look at this damage out from Pasha. That's why Mel's dropping out, the Death Wars dropped as well. Afterlife, Medium's top in with a plunder early. Ramsey, the healing up and running, no one. Trying to stock up all we're gonna fly, but look at that big bad wolf. The BKB is up and no one trapped inside all of this damage. Ramsey's running high, you nearly dead. Well, promise nearly dropped him down. And afterlife is causing so many issues up on the front lines here as Solo and Pasha being forced back away from the rest of their team, but the damage output Ramsey's close to death. Rarin is shredding through them all. Standing his ground, Pasha is an absolute madman, the turret, the Drow Ranger turret, the comeback here from no one, back into the fight and that's for dead three, as the TP complete, looks like it's the front that they're going to try and angle in here, Ramsey is so perfectly positioned, he pops his shapeshift, he's actually under the death ward, he just BKBs through, trapped in the chrono though, and oh, afterlife, you trapped your Lycan, Solo gets swapped back, but no one's exorcism is just doing so much damage on the back end. Goldblack and Apple are still trying to chase this one through, but Ramsey has to run and hide. The hand of God comes out to heal him up, but no one he has to suck off two people at once to stay alive. He's taking down the faceless boy, now looking for the 10. That clap, not enough. And there's the big zap. Iceberg takes down one, but no one. Shoma, Pasha still on the run, looking for more targets, but that damage output, Moracle, always want to fly. He's not going to die. So until Pasha turns, a rifle gets down, but it's just one by one. Team Spirit, they've done it again. Still a bit stronger, um, just net worth wise, they have a lot more. No, no, no steal. Ages and cheese, ages. I mean, to be honest though, it's it, she doesn't really take that much damage from Zeus. She's only gonna take the old damage. I meant mainly to stop her attacking people, but yeah, you're right, the Zeus damage is pretty good too. They take down the first rack for the jump in. No one has to yield himself up into the air, heal himself with this old siphon, as well as that after being caught. Now it's Team Spirit who have to really disengage as quickly as they can. Or Oracle will keep Iceberg alive a little bit longer. He's got Ghost Scepter and Cheese though, and with the Yule Scepter Cyclone in fact from that little panda. Going up into the air, but this is Vega. This is their approach forward. This is their light brigade. This is where they want to take down one or two. Iceberg heals up. Turns it around, and you're right, the wolf comes through. Sioma, the gust. Not through the BKB, Pasha tried to hit through the wall, but look at that damage output. Ramsey's slice and dice one by one, and no one with no soul slice and with no ultimate. Your Octarine core does nothing, my friend. TP away, time to run. What? Oh. Half a second before the TP completes. You of course. Past of course the face of boy time locks you. That's when you slam your keyboard on the desk and say, screw you, Ice Frog. Why? Why do you have oh, to do this to me? Mag is caught up at top as well. Afterlife just going ham one after the other. The zap is there as well as Solo walking into his own death if he goes any further forward. The rack. Like can still has Aegis. Oh. Gonna at least get the glyph. Why does it feel like this Vega always has glyph? The hacking, man. Got glyph. Glyph hack. Got exe. Oh. Is that Ags upgrade? That's an Ags upgrade solo. Where's Dr. Rolty? They take the Aegis away from the Lycan. Off his shapeshift and bails out. And he realizes, why bail out when I can go all in? Take the melee rack, pop on BKB. Now I get myself back to safe. Many thanks to you. Thinking about this one, they've got the Oracle coming in from the side and with the Chrono held on to, they'll catch no one, this cast could be decent from solo, but they're just looking for the E-Blade to nuke damage, and there it is! Holy crap. Whew. I need to change my pants after that one, and I think no one does too, he's got his buyback available, but look at Pasha, Gust, they've got the check. He's gonna move at full speed, so. Oh, Drow Ranger trying to fall up against Iceberg, but look at this, he just runs forward, the E-Blade still connects on the back end, he's got 20 health! 
Has it survived? Meanwhile, the fight flopper, it continues for the exorcism oh, out. Yeah. Just drop it. She's stuck and dead. I think this she is it from Vega. She, yeah, she doesn't have any armor. Life is just slices through. Will need no armor. I don't like it when you wear any either. Death Ward bounces. Looks good. Gonna go. Is it good enough though? Not gonna bring anyone down just yet. Even with the lightning clock, Skullblack finally dies. The Maelstrom Prox of Pasha. With the help of Solo's Witch Doctor. But two lanes of racks have gone. And Ramses, what a baller. Just stands up on mid lane. So yeah, what up? They down their fourth rush out of the game. And again, 80 to cheat. Flying around. Okay, this time, Viking again. No one's doing it as well. This animation casting as many spells as you can. It looks like Pasha failed. His gust is on cooldown. There's the Chrono. There's no swap. There's still no swap. Pasha's dead. Flyback's available. He's forced out here. But I think Vega feels like this kind of almost given up. This step from it. Going as much damage as you can back onto Afterlife. But the Solar with the oh is dead and down for the counter. The Oracle save. Afterlife has kept alive through it all and always want to fly just have to keep healing him up. Keep that heal flowing, baby. Uh, the face of boy gets himself away. E play almost saves the Oracle. But Vega. They advance forward. They've got to pay attention though to top lane. Faces Boy is going for the racks, going for the objectives as Iceberg burns and down to kill Solo off. Force now back down to the low ground and look like he's still gonna drop here though as the forces, the hordes, Vega squadron. Bring him down. Afterlife. Lower, lower. Radiant side have quite a few buybacks themselves, but so they jump in with a chrono oh. on the mag. She almost back faster. Look at that nuke damage down. Mag might even die to the split very close to the death ward. He might put up into the air and the drow range just focuses down these ancient creeps. Ken is losing his army and no one charges through from the side looking for the focus. They don't always want to fly, but the DP. He played it up twice and nuked into oblivion! The death drop it didn't stand a chance of Pasha. You're dealing with a lycanthrope here, you're dealing with CC and control and damage out the wazoo. Pasha, time to run and hide solo, the witch doctor drops, and DP has to buy back to try and save her racks because afterlife, BKB, time walks back to half HP, and Ramsey's comes to finish the job. A good track on Pasha from Scover and Slayer will save him for now and always want to fly or lose his life for that one. But it's Mega Creep time. All lanes of ranks have gone. And Vega just squadron. It's under pressure. They're being bashed around. Ramsey is being sent home by the Chen. The Yule oh Center from no Pasha. one allowed him to get himself away. And always when a fly is brought back into TP. No one. I don't know what you're going to do here. But Iceberg's being sucked off. The Zeus is being focused down. No one. The e plays back again. Can they zap him out? So oh, let's they can. Zeus finally dies. Finally dies. Good three minutes of onslaught. Ramses returns to the base to take down tier fours. He knows the drow's dead. He knows no one has no life. Three hits, swipe down. And Vega meet their creators in oblivion. The team spirit takes the first TIS group stage win of the day. Best of one. And honestly, that was not easy. Kind of got dragged on, but yeah, sure. Vega had. A lot of team fights it could have gone either way if Spirit were like slightly less patient on you know, the Lycan. Uh, the Roches were really big. Towards the end, I think it's safe to say that if they, there was no way Vega was gonna, you know, come make a comeback, especially with the Drow build. It, it was really nice. It was neat, of course, but it's only good for defending, like pushing tower.